Hi everybody, I'm Trisha from Club Scrap. Thanks for joining us today. You know, one of the things I love most about paper crafting is the fact that you can take something that's really plain, dull, and ordinary and really make it pop. Well, let's start out by showing you what we're going to make. It's this fabulous little book made from CD mailing envelopes and a bunch of stuff from Club Scraps project kit from the Fizz collection. It has this wonderful little clasp, comes right in the kit, and inside you will see all kinds of wonderful interactive pages that have been bonded together. And here we have some little fun pop-up tabs and some more envelopes that pop out of the book. So I know it might look a little bit confusing and complicated right now, but let me show you how to do this step by step. And let's begin with the basic book structure. Now I'm starting out with just these plain ordinary CD envelopes and to hinge them together into book form, I'm just gonna be adding two pieces of paper. These are some really nice cardstocks from that Fizz collection. They're bright and cheery, and I've trimmed them to five by 10. And then I'm just gonna fold them in half, but notice I'm folding in with the print side facing in. At this point, I'll use some book binding glue, and I'm just gonna cover both the plain sides of this paper with the glue, and then attach it to the envelope while it's closed, spine edge to spine edge. Okay, so there's my folded edge. Then I'm gonna attach this one, the next piece of folded paper, and then the next CD envelope. When your book is completely glued together, it's gonna to look like this. So here I have my pages, my hinges, another page. So lots of opportunity for creative real estate here. So now I'm going to make the covers for my little book. And I've gone ahead and prepared some layered paper, just some decorative printed paper on some black cardstock. And I also have a smaller piece of black cardstock that I've measured to fit my little clasp and it has three prongs on it. So I've got my paper on some cork board and I'm going to carefully aim this into the center of that paper and just push down. And then I'll pull that out of the cork, get that in all the way, and now my clasp is attached to the paper. Next, I've got my cover paper that I've already prepared and I'm going to lay this onto these two sheets and once again, just push firmly down through both of those pieces, pull it up, and now my clasp is attached to this cover. Now, it comes with this little metal plate in which you can put that on there and it protects the front side of the clasp when you're hammering that into place. Just do that gently, take your time, and then those prongs will, like I've gone ahead and done here, will flatten right into the back of your cardstock. And this is pretty heavy and will be nice and sturdy, a perfect clasp closure for your book. I think the clasps are half the fun anyway. So now, this will fit onto the front cover. Meantime, we also need to do something for the back cover. So I've duplicated the same print here, matted onto black. I'm gonna take some adhesive and get that ready to attach to the back of my book. Now let's finish attaching the other part of the clasp to our book. This is the buckle portion and it's going to actually slide right in to my clasp. I've gone ahead and tied on two ribbons, a black and a pink twill, and that comes right in the kit. Now I'm going to line these up and notice I haven't attached this paper, that's intentional. I'm gonna bring this around the top and back to the front. Now, this book will grow as we continue to add more creative elements to the inside pages, so I'm actually allowing some slack to form with these two ribbon pieces. And you want to make sure you do that or your book will be rather precariously closed. Now I'm just gonna take some tape and secure these ribbon ends onto the cover. Next, I'll add my adhesive to my cover paper and then flip it back over and center it onto my cover. Now at this point it may seem like it's really loose with my class, but you'll be glad you did it later. Next, I want to add just one more little decorative element to my book, and that's Magic Mesh. I love Magic Mesh, and it comes in all different sizes, all different shapes. This happens to be the Dottie Mesh, and I love the matte finish of this particular color. What I'm going to do is open up the clasp on the book, and turn it over to the back side. Because it's kind of plain right now. We have this decorative paper, but that's really all we've got. And I'll remove the backing. And this is self-adhesive, so it's ready to use. And I'm going to just layer this piece right onto the edge of the side of the book that opens. <laughs> and I'll press it down, and you're good to go. Then it's gonna wrap around the spine, and I love the decorative element this adds to the spine. And then bring it around to the front of the book. And now that particular embellishment is secure and the exterior of my book is complete. Of course, you can add a whole bunch more stuff if you would like to, but for now, we're gonna move on to how we assemble those inside pages. 
Now I'm starting with a piece of five by 11 dark pink paper. I've gone ahead and I've added some score lines to this, starting at five inches in from the edge. Here's one and I've done them every half inch seven times. So I have seven score lines a half inch apart. And if you wanna know about how to score and do a good job of it, be sure to watch my Card Keeper webisode. Now, let's show you what I did with these pre-scored lines. I've gone ahead and folded them, and here you can see how it creates these peaks. There are three peaks, and these are gonna be little pop-up tabs. That's what makes that album look so animated when you open up the pages. And, this is cleverly designed so that you can slip the short end into this pocket and the long end into here. But before I insert that, I'm going to look into the future a bit for you and remind you that the lock that I showed you earlier, or the clasp, has a little key. And it's so sweet, we don't want to miss a chance to actually attach the key to our book. For that, I'm just going to use some double-sided tape. So I'm just going to push that into the spine of the CD envelope. And I just love how they come already with the pre-scored spines. Remove the backing. And I've attached the key to a ribbon, so I'm actually putting the ribbon end toward the bottom of the book, and the adhesive will hold it into place. The key will be coming out the top. Next, I'll take the short end of my folded piece and slide it right in to this pocket, and then I have the long end. I will slide that into the angled pocket, and here I have my three little pop-ups. I've gone ahead and done that two more times because I had so much fun doing this one. Here I have a cute little light pink one and a black one for my other two pages in my three-page book. Now remember, these pages are separate. They're not bound in the book. I'm just breaking this down to simplify this for you. I need to decorate those little pop-ups. So I've got some envelopes that I want to show you. These are really fun. They're black and they're miniature, and I'm actually going to be leaving the envelopes open and attaching them to these little flaps. To do that, you just simply need to take some glue and run it across the bottom edge of the envelope. All right here, attach it to the front side, and then go ahead and attach the remaining two envelopes to the other two tabs. Speaking of decorating, let me show you a cute little trick for decorating these envelopes. I found some pink magic mesh. This again is the dotty mesh. I think it's so sweet. And again, it's just an easy embellishment because all the adhesive is there. Now notice I peeled away the backing. Keep in mind, you wanna save that. Don't throw it away. We're gonna use it a little bit later. I'm just gonna line up the mesh edge to edge. I've already cut this and you can put it in your trimmer and measure it or cut it with the scissors however you wish and lay that down onto the envelope and then I'm going to go ahead and attach this darling little die cut flower to our envelope. Notice I'm doing it on the, the lip of the envelope. That's okay because I plan on keeping these envelopes open. Then you can start to insert your artistic elements into the envelopes and this will expand into a really fabulous inner page. Now let me show you how I decorated the pink version of this pop-up page. Here, I have that right here. And this time, rather than using envelopes, I just used some paper tabs, and I just cut them so that they would fit in a row onto these tabs. Now let me show you how I attach these, because it's a little bit different than the way I did the envelopes. And I'm actually going to glue these in place, so you can see. The very first one, I'm just taking a little bit of glue, and I'll be honest, the liquid adhesive works the best. When I try to use other dry adhesives, it just doesn't seem to be as firmly attached as it is when I use a liquid. I've attached this to the front side of the very first flap so that it's flush with the top edge. If I just hang on to it for a second, it'll stay. Now, the next one I'm going to attach is the bottom flap. And I'm going to attach it to the front edge of the same exact tab here, flush with the bottom edge. Finally, I'll attach the third tab, but this time, I'm going to attach it to the back side of that same flap. And that's even gonna make it look a little bit more interactive and a little bit more interesting when you open the book. I've got the other flaps right here, and those will be attached using the exact same pattern, front, back, front. Okay, so you go ahead and attach all three of those flaps. Finally, we have the black page. For this, I'm gonna use some silver envelopes, and let's decorate these as well before I attach them into the book. Now remember the backing from the mesh that we used earlier that I told you to save? This is where the real magic comes in. I'm gonna get double duty on it. And I'm placing this mesh over my silver envelope. And I've got some just regular black ink here and a sponge. And just tap gently into those openings of the dotty mesh. Okay, and there I have my transferred pattern, dot pattern, right onto my envelope. And of course we wanna finish this with some actual magic mesh. So I'll take a smaller piece of this, layer it onto the envelope, and it wouldn't be poppy if we didn't pop up some 
die cut flowers and that envelope has been decorated. Of course, then you can go ahead and insert all kinds of journaling, pictures, artwork, whatever you want onto these envelopes and attach them into the inside of this page onto the tabs the same way I did with the black envelopes. Now let me show you how all of these individual elements that I've showed you one by one come together in that book. So we're gonna review and check out all of those great little details. Now remember, we had that clasp on the front and how fabulous of a piece that is. It just makes the book something you want to open and look inside and the key, of course, well, I just think it's a great decorative element. Notice the addition of the bulldog clips. These come in that little club stamp kit from the Fizz collection and I've gone ahead, I'll just show you the detail right here. I've added th the beads, and some ribbon to this bulldog clip. And if you wanted to clip a little title to this book, you could do that too, opening it up. Here we have the addition of the magic mesh, carrying that through as a theme in this book. All right, so here we have our cute little envelopes. Remember the hinged pages? That's how these have been decorated, very simple. Just add a little sticker, another little bulldog clip. To that, I've attached a little piece of paper. I mean, the ideas are endless and I dare you to even stop. You'll be having so much fun decorating this book, you won't want to. Here are those cute little pop-ups and I absolutely love how these tabs just really add life to the book. And then, another hinged page. Finally, we reached the silver envelopes that have all been decorated with the stencil form of the backing from the Magic Mesh. Well, I do hope that this project has inspired you to notice the creative potential in all of the ordinary things around you. Thanks for watching. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this week's project, download the design guide featuring special make-it-your-own bonus tips.